Welcome everyone where we're going live to more Risk 5 news and announcements. Sci 5 the other day on the Risk 5 summit, uh, just like yesterday, or actually, no, today, today to tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, something shows, shows there on the Risk 5 summit 2021 their latest and greatest high performance embedded in desktop um, design. Uh, they name this Essential 6 Series Sci-5 21G3. So I could, couldn't be more cryptic. They probably learn from the best. Um, course expanding the company's essential family of processes and cores because, mind you, they are a fabulous uh, IP core company, right? So they are licensing that to others. Of course, thereby claiming the fastest licensable Risk 5 core money can buy currently tuned for 64 and 32 bit risk 5 cores and so what is new before also yeah a press announcement i really wish and welcome everyone they would actually release the slides because i didn't get the slides yet so you need to refer to some other random websites for some slides and um, so they claim uh, and and i just recently some months ago made a video about um, a call i attended with them some meeting i attended with them um, regarding their just then new, some months new 5500 architecture. So I'm a little bit surprised that they already announced a 650 series architecture, but of course this are IP cores, so this, uh, they maybe have some samples running at 2 point something gigahertz, but this is of course years until this reaches customers in you, so, so maybe at least 6 months, 12 months, um, and their mileage may very obviously and um, so basically, I I think they just finished designing, or maybe they have not even finished, right? Maybe they are closing the prototype phase or something, because to me, all of this looks far off of being in, at the end of customers. But what is new is previously, as my previous video there, some, some months ago, since their performance P550 uh, processor, of course, the usual impressive 40% performance increase per clock cycle and overall 50% performance gain compared to their previous fastest processor thanks to additional architecture enhancements. Um, previously, they, the P550 were the first of their out of order. Three, I think up to three wide issue. I think I opened that. The problem with all those details getting a little, little bit, um, but I'm, yeah, triple issue. So previously this was triple issue and so this is upgraded now to quad issue um or let's see uh, yeah four-way decode and i think a yeah, four-way decode however only three issue or so um, according to this block diagram and um, their previous generation four core p450 run at two point four gigahertz at a seven nanometer process outperforming yeah some random like outperforming some random many years old arm causes commercial comparisons like yeah yellow whatever right but whatever obviously not outperforming any current um cortex as seen right um so basically advancing from dual issue i think uh dual issue in order uh not yet in my hands P550 triple issue out of order to quad uh, decode three. Uh, we will see in a second, I think three, uh, three white issue. Um, next generation silicon. What is also new, so uh, that of course not yet, neither with vector nor hypervisor extension. The previous performance course already at times with vector extension and now also there. Um, need to be careful, I think, performance, they have their uh, embedded and whatnot. So I think their performance also with hypervisor extension, but again, probably takes a year for us to have it in our hands, uh, hopefully eventually. So 64-bit um, design, obviously hypervisor, and what is the difference between hypervisor and virtualization support? Is it not redundant? But anyway, plus advanced cryptographic features. Modular design, meaning a customer can license those IP towards using clusters. Also new, previously this was, um, previously this was a vector extension and uh, also 
bit B float, which they also point out here there again. Um, so where do they have that? Yeah, I, I wish I had the slides. Where was that? Um, float, yeah, float, floating point. Yeah, this is not actually, wait a second, this means, oh, this is interesting, does it? Uh, actually, maybe that is uh, text recognition of Safari. <clears throat> and um, yeah, I think somewhere was mentioned B float 16. Um, where would that be? Maybe in the press announcement here that comes from. Uh, somewhere they had mentioned AI because nowadays, of course, they need to mention AI. Anyway. Yeah, pretty um, looking forward to that, but of course not epic, no thread ripping, neither um, Apple Silicon uh, stated. It just take, I said this previously, so many people are disappointed by Risk 5 I'm actually still relatively thrilled by this open and structured architecture. I'm just realistic, as I always said in this Risk 5 videos, this new startups need just years, aka decades of reinventing the wheel, implementing all this because instructions and architecture is one thing you also need to implement this all in silicon. So it takes these companies all those years, um, iteration after iteration. You also don't start with some, even Apple needed 15 years from PA Zemi to Apple Silicon and uh, not to mention how long Intel needed to their 11th or 12th gen core series. So this is just natural, plus they of course need to navigate the minefield that are hardware patents, so they need to be careful. Even if the ideas are trivial and you would implement it similarly, they need to spend extra time and effort to circumnavigate the uh, rough sea that are those patents and um, thus it might actually be like more difficult of not implementing it some straightforward way just to avoid software patents. In similar news, um, Going wide on Reddit, AMD apparently hiring RISC-V CPU architect there. But of course, as often, they quickly took those uh, advertisements down. Uh, looks like the job listing was changed and removed RISC-V. So previously, this allegedly read RISC-V CPU architect uh, micro architect job listing 106421. And... Um, what is archived here, um, which um, yeah, you s allegedly from this URL of Lando Risk Five CPU Architect, Micro Architect, um, and this is, however, in there. Um, at least they wrote here somewhere GPU, so GPU uh, team in the world. So as a processor, shader, CPU, GPU Architect, Micro. Also, do they list, just lift list, list everything? Let me something something. In any case, this is of course not. Um, AMD instantly switching to RISC-V instructions and architecture. I said this before, AMD and Intel would be fools to do so. They um, took everything uh, they, they can to keep the Wintel monopoly for decades already, um, even if AMD is not Intel. But of course, both companies uh, thriving from this instructions architecture not easily Im or yeah, implementable by other companies, I think Transmeta or certainly otherwise um, IDT, uh, Centaur, um, what was then eventually at the end VIA, not really making much stride there. And they, as I said before, they would lose their competitive uh, advantage of being the only um, companies who can legally due to hardware patents, although some actually x86 patents start to expire. So the first um, random note, the first AMD64 patents, I think, start to expire if I recall correctly. Anyway, um, the person, self-motivated computer designer, effective leader, mentor, team player, uh, and so on, team, oh, okay, fine. Processor, shader, CPU, microarchitect, um, existing product, very best. Um, so. It could simply be, but um, also I think, I mean, they were looking specifically for RISC-V, right? And if this uh, listing here, uh, RISC-V CPU. So I would not, I would not think they have this accidentally there for just talented people. But um, of course, as often, they don't change their Zen 4, 5, 6, 7 anytime soon. So I expect this simply to be um, power controllers um, and on all the, what currently, what many people don't know, but currently they have ARM cores in their um, P 
PSP stuff or what they call that for x86 core bring up and power management um, and uh, other security features. So maybe they simply want to cheap out and save money as all companies would do on their ARM licensing and um, transitioning for a test and um, yeah, test trial and, and experience and uh, so on. Switching that from ARM to RISC-V, that would of course make the most sense. Is there, similar to even NVIDIA, I think that was already, we fact-checked the previous video, NVIDIA having RISC-V already now or soon in their microcontroller stuff there for power and, and so on, um, and clocks, yeah, frequency clocking and stuff. So yeah, amazing development um, on the RISC-V, um, Sci-Fi front, again, I'm being realistic um, that this will not be available soon. And if it will, when it will be available, um, maybe in six to 12 months or something, then of course it is still not epic thread wrapping as much as I dream as well as it would. Although with vector and hypervisor extension, it will be even more useful um, and most likely even bit manipulation for some rotates and uh, other bit shuffling permutations. And Last but not least, this will also be more cores. I think I read they have uh, 16, up to 16 cores now. Ah, here's also the beef load. Why did I not find this previously? Yeah, funny stuff. So yeah, um, now supports beef load 16, as I mentioned previously, but I didn't find it in the text. Plus improved multi-cluster support um, for also machine learning workloads, whatever. Um, but actually I um, wanted to find cores, I think this was up to 16 cores, some the high-end multi-core applications of, I thought it's 16, but your mileage may vary, yeah, 16 cores, yeah, you need to press, somehow 2021 press announcement doesn't have all details, I wish they would have just linked the slides, but somehow they haven't, so up, up to 16 cores, that would be up from 4 here, or was it 8 from the previous, something of that sort, and um, maintaining an efficient core pipeline um, and so on and so on. So yeah, amazing stuff. Looking forward to see that. Um, we of course have in the meantime Firefox running, so the nearly only thing missing from the open source landscape is of course, uh, of course, is unfortunately JIT, just in time compilation. In the meantime, I found some brave folks have already ported the uh, Chrome-based V8. Um, but that only helps you with Chrome and Node.js, I think. And uh, for Firefox, um, you would either need to somehow YOLO that into Firefox or port Firefox JIT, which of course eventually will happen, but is not there yet. I hope you enjoyed this shout out and learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hope to see you soon for the next videos and live streams to come.